Oh, I guess I haven't properly introduced Elise yet. I'm Elise Ludis. Hello. Well, you look like you'll be a fine lady when you grow up. I'm Alvin. It's nice to meet you. I, um, well... Don't talk to strangers, Elise! Strangers are bad. Why is this stuffed animal talking? Huh? Tipo always talks. Naturally! Oh, so I'm the one who's reacting strangely? Sure looks that way! <laughs> I'm arguing with the stuffed animal. How unusual. Unusual, she says. Coming from you, Mila? I can't believe soldiers would come here. I knew we should have never kept that strange girl here. No child that age should be able to use spirit arts like that. It's not normal. It doesn't matter. We couldn't refuse Chief Zhao's requests after he forgave our tribute debts during the famine. That may be, but he's an outsider too. They're nothing but trouble. Don't you remember when they stole our prized apples and porringes? And to add insult to injury, we found out they were growing them outside without our permission. Our ancestors built this village from nothing, without help from anybody else. The only people we can trust are each other. Exactly right. Huh? Elise, you shouldn't listen to them. Why? Those were their true feelings. <sighs> but that lady used to add an egg in my porridge. And that man patched up the holes in the shed that we stayed in. I think you could count those as their true feelings, too. Agreed. If they didn't truly believe in helping others, it would be difficult for them to survive way out here. Then why did they chase Elise out? Sometimes you have to cut off outsiders to protect the people on the inside. Staying alive isn't always pretty. It's a matter of priorities, I suppose. <sighs> <sighs>
Excuse me, when is the next ship leaving for Fenmont? I'm afraid the Rashigal government has blockaded the capital and its surrounding regions. That means all scheduled voyages to Fenmont have been cancelled. We apologize for the inconvenience. Are any ships sailing? Sorry, ma'am. Ah, uh, but the route to Sapstrath Seahaven is still open. Would you like a ticket to Sapstrath Seahaven? Very well. Please board the ship and await departure. That's not something you see every day. You get your mail by carrier pigeon? Something like that. It's how I keep in touch with someone special from afar. I told her a beautiful woman has appeared in my life. Hey, I didn't know you were married. <laughs> Do I look like the marrying type to you, Mr. Honor Student? Huh? You mean you're not? Who knows? Oh, looks like we're about to depart. Yeah. seen the sea before impressive huh just what was that girl doing in the village wasn't she being held captive maybe it was the other way around maybe she was being protected <laughs> Elise <laughs> Tipo look well, hey check out that water you'd die if you fell in She's not a bad girl. It doesn't seem that way. I wonder if we'll find someone who'll take her in. That's your responsibility. You'll have to find someone on your own. Right. I guess she really is mad. Hmm. Isn't she always like that? To be honest, I thought for sure she was gonna shoot down your idea to bring the girl along. Why? She's just so single-minded. I bet she'd kick a puppy if it got in the way of her mission. Come on. Mila isn't that cold-blooded. I wonder. Speaking of her mission, I hear you two had a rough time at that lab in Fenmont. Did Mila tell you about it? Well, she must have swiped something big from there, huh, kid? Some juicy national secret that got the army all riled up? I don't know. You'd have to ask her. Don't play coy, kid. I'll find out eventually. Why not just tell me now? It'll be our little secret. I'm sorry. I really don't know. Well, I guess she really doesn't trust us. No, that's not true. Wait here. I'll go ask her. No, no. If you really don't know about it, then forget I asked. I mean that. I'm not trying to give you a hard time. But... I doubt she'll take kindly to me poking my nose in her business. So don't tell her I asked, okay? 
All right, got it. Hey, we better get our stuff. You're right. Looks like we're almost there. I wonder how tight Rashigal security is right now. Mila! Mila's our pal! Oh. <laughs> Looks like everyone's getting along, at least. Don't worry. Everything will work out. Looks like security is not so tight after all. Soldiers are still patrolling, though. We'll have to be careful. Strange. What changed? They were deploying soldiers across the border to find us before. Maybe they found something more important to do than chase after us. I'm not complaining. Let's avoid the soldiers and head to Fenmont. Hang in there, Elise. It'll just be a little while longer till we reach the city. Then I'm sure we'll find the perfect person to take you in. What? But I... Take us in? What the hey are you talking about? That could have gone better. He just told the little lady he's unloading her on a perfect stranger. That's news to her. No wonder she looks surprised. And he thinks I'm inconsiderate. He's just a kid. Hmm? Nothing. Those wanted posters! Is that Jude and Mila? Wow! You both look so evil! That's supposed to be Jude and I? Well, this is lucky. If that's what they're looking for, there's no way they'll ever catch us. These are awful. Oh, I'm sure this can't be fun at your age. Kids can be so self-conscious. No, I don't care about me, but Mila looks terrible. He's right. This is quite unfortunate. The whole reason I assumed this form is because its appearance is effective against men. Half the human population. But if I'm as ugly as I appear in that poster, I need to fundamentally reevaluate my strategy. Wow, that is diabolical. I had no idea. Jude, be honest with me. Am I attractive from a male perspective? Uh, well, you're beautiful, in my opinion. And sexy! Ellie says she wants to look just like you. Tipo! You have nothing to worry about, Mila. So? What would you say are her finest features? Oh, maybe how good she smells, or those amazing curves? Yes, I see. Thank you for your invaluable opinion. My, my. Our little Jude is becoming a man. I was just speaking objectively. Trust me. The beds are way softer at the inn here than anywhere else. You focus on the strangest things. All right. I'm checking in. Can we really afford to relax like this? Be careful, Elise. A sailor in the Sea Haven has been staring at you. Oh, I didn't notice anything. We might just be overthinking things, but he might know something. Maybe we should chat him up.
I can strike up a fair deal for our first time customers like you. Hey, buddy. I know our little lady's cute and all, but could you stop leering at her? Oh, sorry. I just couldn't help but notice that stuffed doll she's got. You want a piece of cheapo, pal? Aha! I knew it! This one talks, too! You mean you've seen a talking doll like this before? Oh, yeah. They look just like that one. That might be Tebow's family! Where did you see it? A traveling merchant was selling them here a little while ago. He said he was heading west. That must be Sherilton. So there might be other Tebow's besides Tebow? That is a possibility. I want to meet my family! Wow. These new toys are so impressive. Now I wish I bought one for my daughter. So what's keeping this Tipo thing floating in the air like that? Who knows? Sheer talent, I guess. Find nothing but the finest silk here. Stop by and have a look. Please, I'm in a hurry. Hmm? What is it? That woman. Quite a looker, eh? What do you think? Uh, this again? Found you, cat. Now come with us or else. <laughs> Never mind. Just cancel my reservation. Um. <laughs> Alvin? Um. I can't believe we fell for your pathetic lies. Please, I beg you, let me go. Please, you don't understand. Who are you working for? Tell us. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? I think the lady's had enough. Mind your own business. You don't know what she's done. Hmm. Alvin, what's going on? Damn it. He's got friends. Let's get out of here. Cab, was it? That's an unusual name. Why did you help me? You don't know what they'll do to you. Well, how do I put this? He can't help it. Alvin's always had a weakness for pretty faces. <laughs> That's my Jude. Always kidding around. Now, how about you take her back to the inn and tend to her wounds? As you command, sir.
She couldn't be one of them. Could she? Oh, hey. Have you seen Kat today? She left before dawn. Hey, over here! What's going on? This was no accident. Who would do such a thing? Kat! Did you know her? I'm sorry, but she's already gone. What happened? Was it those two men from yesterday? No, it wasn't them. Do you know who did this? Hey, could you give us a moment here? It won't take long. She never came out and said so, but I suspect Kat was a member of the Rats. The Rats? That's what they call the female spy organization that works for the Octal clan. They're one of the shadier tribes in Ajul. The Rats use women to gather intelligence. As their name implies, they sneak in anywhere. Like rodents. They're pretty well known in Ajul. I can't believe it. I don't think those thugs from yesterday had caught on to her real identity. They must have been from the group she was spying on. They wouldn't have gone this far. Then who? Other rats. With her cover blown, she became a liability. I had a hunch that she might have been a spy, but... <sighs> this might be my fault. No, this isn't your fault. Are you guys done? Yeah. Thanks for that. You okay? Yeah, these things happen. You just have to put it out of your mind. You can't save everyone, kid.
take a look while they still you know, in season. Looks like our wanted poster is making the rounds at the Sea Haven. Hmm. Does this sort of thing actually work? You tore it down? Yes, but I can't imagine a poster like this will give us any trouble. Do humans have a different sense of aesthetics than I do? Well, anyway, Mila tore it down, so we should be safe here, right? That'll never work. Keep tearing them down, and they'll keep putting them right back up. Mila? It's nothing. Alvin's right. Even with this terrible likeness, we can't afford to take chances. We should move on. All right. Given enough time, they might manage to make a replacement key as well. We need to hurry. military checkpoint I knew things were too easy what do we do well hey what's over yonder that's the deep wood if we can hike our way through there we'll come out right near Sheraton then our path is clear it won't be easy going what about Elise you knew she'd face risks on this journey. <sighs> I'm fine. Really. I can go with you. Don't argue, you guys! You're pals, remember? Elise. The girl has agreed, so this matter is no longer open to debate. You seem 
to know a lot about this area. Never actually been in the deep wood before, but there's a first time for everything. Quite a dense forest. Let's try to stick together, okay? What was that? Was it warning us, maybe? Well, Mila certainly seems unfazed. Oh, I see a way through! Hurry up, you two! Great, even the spud is getting gutsy. Let's go. I'm not so good with these tight passages. Must be this astonishing physique of mine getting in the way. <sighs> that thing's got reach. It can hit all of us with ease. This could pose a problem. Elise, keep your distance. We can't look after you and fight at the same time. Stay back. Jude! Damn it. I... I can help. You healed us? <laughs> Glad you brought us along now, huh? Our wounds are healed. Did Elise do this? Stay back, it's dangerous. But wait, hold on. I can help. It's not working. A grand victory! That was amazing, Elise. That was exhausting. Imagine. A little girl wielding arts like that. Elise, you saved us. <coughs> it's okay, Elise. There's nothing to be scared of anymore. That's not it. You two need to make up. Pal 
Girls need to stick together. I promise I won't get in your way again. Honest. You heard the little lady. Now make nice with Jude here, for Elisa's sake. Make nice? It's not like I'm angry or anything. That's not how it looks to me. You were getting along better before. I'll do my best, okay? Why do I suddenly feel like the villain here? <laughs> Fine, all is forgiven. And hey, don't you have something to say to Elise? Sorry for making you worry. And thank you. This is some serious friendship stuff right here! Level 99 on the friendship meter! Elise's arts could really help us in a pinch, don't you think so? Agreed. Thank you, Elise. I'm counting on you. Sally forth, pals! <laughs> what luck. Never expected a channeler like her to be along for the ride. Closer to adulthood! Tipo! Don't say that so loud. You're embarrassing me. Ah! 
Must be the sensation humans know as hunger. Let's stop and eat something soon. Didn't we just eat? Look out, guys. There are little bugs everywhere. I wonder if Mila gets bitten a lot in that outfit. You didn't know? She swats the bugs away with her hair. Wow, like the tail of a cow! Don't compare my crowning glory to the tail of a cow. Crowning glory? I didn't expect such vanity from the Lord of Spirits. Sylph styled my hair for me. He said, you're in human form, so you need to take care of your appearance. You had the great spirit of wind style your hair? That's incredible! Yes, I'm quite fond of it. If I swing it around quickly, 
I can distract a foe between attacks. So you do swish it like a cow. Squeeze through here. Better make sure none of us get our clothes stuck. <laughs> Everyone okay? Everybody. The smoke. <clears throat> what is it? <coughs> ah, uh, my eyes. This ain't smoke. <clears throat> Some kind of spore, more likely. I bet these are smoke shroom spores. Once the spores get in your eyes or nose, <coughs> you can't stop crying. Doesn't bother me. What a bunch of crybabies.
Yeah, this is no proper place for a city boy like me. Thank you. 